So uh, this may become a part of my uh, book and uh, video series on common sense guitar repair. Um, what I'm going to be talking about is the simple geometry of neck angle, bridge height, resetting neck angle, and uh, this board. I'm going to start. Notice the uh, bridge is off. And the goal when you need a straight neck, if the neck is zooming up like this, while well, you're going to get erroneous readings, it has to be level to start with. And I can see it's been leveled. I did it myself. The goal is for this straight edge resting on top of the frets to uh, hit right on the top of the bridge uh, without having, you know, with the guitar just being in its natural state. And when you get one that needs a neck reset, when it comes in, it'll pretty much be almost touching the top. The source of the problem is usually that this whole thing has bent. It's warped here. You can see warpage in the sound hole. And there's also, excuse me, ha, bridges on the other, warpage. Of the back, if there was an arch in the back, that arch will sometimes actually straighten out. Um, there's probably an arch. Yeah, you can see there's still arch here. The board. This is what I would call the. <clears throat> it's a fixture. This slot is for the neck. This opening is for the bridge. You may have to enlarge the opening, depend on what guitar you have and uh, basically this fits in there and uh, right now the end of the neck is at the end of this slot and this is absolutely flat and it's sitting on a bench that's absolutely flat if you've got crap on your bench and then don't bother proof it with your straight edge this is the main tool of the luthier a straight edge plus or minus a thou. Now, the relief there gives you flat surface, and you can look around here in the sound hole and see warpage. You can push down and see if there's warpage. You can get it. Anyway, what we've done already on this guitar is remove the uh, warpage. Um, now, this is three quarters of an inch thick. This is three quarters of an inch thick. Imagine this whole thing just keeps projecting this way. Well, here it is under the neck. Um, <clears throat> in other words, imagine this board just keeps going out here, and now we know it's dead level. And uh, I can see it's lifted up here a bit. So the neck angle still needs to go back a little more uh, than it is. Anyway, the next thing we will look at is the subtlety, excuse me, of adding a little bit to the neck angle. And in this case, um, we want the neck to come up this way because now remember, right here at the 12th fret, well, that's the octave. It's 12 inches from here to there to the nut and 12 inches from there to the saddle. Um, if I want a height of 3 eighths, 3 eighths there, this thing should have to actually be lifted about 3 eighths from there. And we can see it isn't, but uh, anyway, what we're going to look at is if this is secure, this whole chunk here, the guitar, you can change the neck angle. You can change the neck angle by lifting up excuse me, on the neck. 
Um, well, I've done this somewhat already. In, uh, anyway, the gist is, when you lift up on the neck, this moves in. These move in. Um, this is a continuous surface, and in the world of CAD and engineering, it's topology. Thank you. So, this board being flat and uh, having the relief here and here if you need it, lets you press the top flat if you need to. You can restrain this as much as you need to and start to manipulate this. Keep in mind that when you raise this, these go out and these go in. It's topology. Um, if this fit exactly before, it won't fit exactly after this happens. You'll have to provide for that. Add binding, paint it black. <laughs> um, Note also that almost all of these things, <coughs> if you expose it, the dovetail joint has no contact on the front edge of the neck and the back edge of this block. What I do is I fill this void with a piece of wood I call a lozenge, put it down in there with wood glue, and bond this to this on this plane that really is being unused. Also, if this thing over time got so bad that it distorted the body this way, brace everything so that it can't happen again. The source was probably strings that were too heavy and getting left someplace hot, but if they tend to distort the other way, do something in here to prevent it in the future. Think about it. I've demoed this acoustically and now it's going through this uh, PA Yamaha Class 4. It's got a, a big bottom. turned up a little and the bass turned down a little. Um, it's a piezo pickup, but I know where to put the pickup and uh, it works pretty good. 
Uh, we've seen this guitar in another incarnation. Uh, it had another logo on the headstock. I removed it. It was like a stencil. We put on this little, little star sticker. Um, otherwise, it's a player.